Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Big Priest Channel. My name is Amir. Good morning, good evening, whatever you may be. All right, it's a beautiful um, sunny Sunday morning here in Muj. It's 9.33 in the morning. And I decided to create this video as a response to a couple of requests that I received yesterday over the video that I just posted as shorts. And this video has an animation of a cup of coffee with the vapor moving. And uh, I've received those requests asking how this is done and, uh, you know, we want to see how you can do it. If you will take a look to this animation, you will find that the cup of coffee is constant and the vapor is moving right and left in a constant loop. The trick here is to create different frames and loop over those frames. And it's going to give you the illusion of animation. Nothing actually is animating. It's just incrementing and incrementing the frames by one and looping over those frames. So you have constant number of frames, three or four, where you can increase or decrease the number of frames as you want and loop over them. Right, so I'm going to give you a, a very quick, like um, the gist of it. And then after I'm going to show you how to create uh, this coffee animation. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is to create a function and I'm gonna call it animate. Right, so the first thing in your animate function is the array of the frames that you want to animate. This array called frames. So this is an array and you can have here anything that you want to animate. Simply I'm going to make any characters. So that's the first one. That's the second one. Those three characters, the forward slash, the add sign and the column, together they constitute the frames of the animation. Next, you will say let index equal to zero. That's the initial state of your animation. Now, I will need to have the animation loop. The animation loop is going to use set interval function. First of all, we're going to clear the console. Then we're going to print the current frame each 500 milliseconds. So that's the interval here. You can increase it, you can decrease it, you can do whatever you want. Uh, so yeah, that's the basic idea. And then after the last line is going to be used to update the index to the next frame, just creating this loop. All right, so let's do that. Let's do set interval. That's going to take anonymous function and we'll return. The first thing that we want to do is to do console.clear because we want to create the screen after each animation. Otherwise, they're going to be on top of each other. So you want to always clear the screen and print the next frame, clear the screen, print the next frame, clear the screen, print the next frame and so on. So that's the first thing in the set interval function. Next, you want to console.log the frame itself on, on which there is the turn. So index zero, index one, index two, and so on. It's going to repeat. So um, I want to do console.log and we will just take the frames and the frames array have each index, right? So this way you're going to print the exact needed frame at that moment. And finally, we will update the index to the next frame. So the index here is going to be incremented by one. Right? Modulo frames dot length. And that's basically it. Let's just shut the curly brace and let's pass the second parameter. This, the first parameter was the handler anonymous function. The second parameter is the interval itself, which I'm going to make it 500 milliseconds. All right, let me shut the parentheses. Let's close that with a semicolon. Let's hit enter the last curly brace. And that's it. This is our animate function, right? Now let's go ahead and invoke that animate function and let's see what we will have. All right, so you see this? That's the idea. The animation loop is using the set interval function that we've created to clear the console, then printing the current frame every five milliseconds, and then updating the index to the next frame, which creates that loop, that illusion of animation. Of course, when the shapes are homogeneous, that's going to be much better. That's my node command prompt. And this is the function, guys. That's exactly the same thing that we have done together. I've created a function. Inside that function, I have an array of different frames. So that's the first frame. This is the second frame, 
third frame and fourth frame and notice here the parentheses are different in each frame that's why you will have the mug itself is going to be constant and the brackets moving animating the or giving you the illusion of animating the vapor and that's exactly the same you know thing that we've done together let index equal to zero set interval and we have a beautiful lambda function or anonymous function returning um, you know all of the instructions that we have written console.clear console.log then updating the index with each frame now let's go ahead and run that and you will have of course the animation for the vapor and you see the cursor moving here very fast each 500 milliseconds to loop over each frame in our function all right guys so i hope this was useful Thank you so much for watching. Keep coding, keep asking your questions. I love it when I see your questions, guys. And more than that, I love when I answer you because that means that there is this ping pong between us. You ask and I answer. Right, so with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.